Welcome back. This is a video tutorial on blend material and V-Ray for SketchUp. So basically, a uh, blend material, what it does, um, we'll take the material, open material editor. This is our benchmark. We work on this uh, cube. It has some curves and stuff, so it looks good. Um, we what we're going to do we open the material editor and if on the diffuse to explain blend I'll put uh, blend so basically um, I can choose what I get if I choose blend I have texture A texture B so let's say for example I put a color let's say here I put some blue and uh, and here I'll put uh, yellow um, just for the idea of understanding how this is works work okay so what I get I get a mix of the blue and the yellow I got blue and yellow this is and the value here if I if I'm closer to one I'm closer to texture number B if I closer to zero I'm closer to texture number A so that's how I can combine so 50% of both of them gives me kind of grayish I don't know exactly what kind of color is this but this is the color I get but for example if I put 0 0.7 I get more yellowish and if I put a 0 0.3 I get um, so this is the idea more bluish now we can use it for different stuff like instead of putting a color we can put a bitmap, for example. For example, if I choose um, one of uh, a brick, yeah, let's say uh, this brick, and um, it gives me. I have here a color, so let's say I take a little bit more orange, and um, it get, it can give me some color. But the thing about it that because they over overlay it just like putting one on top of each other so you won't see really the you won't see the 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 brick so well but it also um works pretty well um okay so we can render this to see the result um i'll render this and i'll show you what i got okay the render is done um, I want to show a quick tip here um, the history here if you want to test some stuff so you can use this you just save it it's not really saving but you just save it here and you have it saved and then you can try so I want to show without the orange how it looks so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put the value here zero so to see the difference of the color that we got okay and I'll be back rendering okay so second render is done so I want to compare so I choose the image I want to compare and I put it in this A and now I have this cross line and I can take it around and you see this side is the one with the orange and this is without so you can see point one value gives me an orange nice orange and you can see uh, the difference okay you're probably saying well that's cool but not so useful yeah that's right but I found a way to use it and a better way and a cool thing to do so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to cancel the blend here and uh, put, put um, just a bitmap here and let's choose on our metal um, and I want to do this one I'll just put this one up and what I got now just this one now this is way too big so I'm going to put it down to like 30 sorry 3 yeah that that's what I meant okay 
So now what I want to show is how I can really use it very um, in a very cool way. If I put it on the bump, I can also combine. So what what I want to combine two images, I want them, one of them to be the bump map. Two of them I can use um, images. So I put my bump, my sorry, my I put here on. Um, on one side on texture A I put the metal my bump this is what I got I'll use this for the bump okay and texture B I'm going to put some scratches and also bitmap so I got this from CG texture this is some scratches that I got but you can get different stuff and basically what it does is combine the both and then I get like a texture with scratches. Now this is way too strong, so I'm going to put it down to 0.25, something like that. And now I have this scratches. I have the bump and I have the scratches. And uh, what I want to do for this uh, material, I want to add a reflection and put it here 22 for metal and take it down now it's really shiny i don't want to shiny i'll take it down to like six five and six five subdivision i'll put up to um 25 i usually put and grayish okay uh this is uh regular um um, this is just uh, you know what I do usual like you can put it up down whatever you but what we want to show is the bump okay so I will render this and come back okay okay so I got the rendering image and you can see um, some nice scratches involved and it makes it more unique not not as uh, regular as the without just flat now you can do it for anything, you can combine stucco with brick and all kind of stuff, bump maps and make it very special. So thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, you can download all files on my blog, thanks.